What can be better than having a nice and loving pet? Of course, a cat or a dog is an endless source of high spirits and joy. But some people prefer keeping in their houses much more exotic creatures. Now I want you to see top 10 wild animals living with humans. A lot of famous people tend to have different wild animals as pets, but one of the cutest friendships is a friendship between a gorgeous actress, Audrey Hepburn, and a baby fawn, who was her partner in the film Green Mansions. When Audrey was making this film, the animal trainer suggested her to take a baby deer home to learn her follow the actress, and Audrey agreed. She was so nice and calm to the fawn that she took Audrey as her mother. Audrey called the fawn Pippin or Ip and let her live in her house. A cute wild animal would cuddle Audrey, accompany her to the supermarket in Beverly Hills, and even would sleep in her bed. A lot of people were impressed by this unusual bond. Having a cute fawn at home wouldn't seem like a challenge if you look at our next hero. In 1989, Gilberto Shed, a fisherman, tour guide, and naturalist from Suquerez, Limon Province, Costa Rica, found a male crocodile dying from a severe injury after being shot by a farmer. The kind man couldn't bear to let him die. So Gilberto saved him, called him Pacho, and nursed him until the croc recovered in his house. After that, Gilberto took the animal back to the river to let him go, but Pacho didn't want to swim away and followed Gilberto back home. Gilberto had nothing to do but ask the permission from the Minister of the Environment to take care of the beast. So Pacho and Gilberto were together over 20 years. It is an incredible example of trust and love. The friends spent hours each day swimming and playing. Sorry to say, Pacho died of natural causes in the water outside Shedden's home in October 2011. Jessica is the most famous hippo in the world. Now she is 18 years old, and she lives in South Africa, near the House of People, who raised her as a child, Tony and Shirley Jobert. During the floods of March 11, 2000, a tiny newborn baby hippo was washed away from her mother and thrown on the side of the Blyde River. She was terribly tired and too weak when Tony and Shirley found her. They were the first thing she saw in her life. Since then, Jessica and Joubert formed a very close relationship. Now she lives in the wild with other hippos, but she always comes back, especially at dinner time. So you've got, a, you've got the knack, huh? She wants to go out now. Sometimes Tony and Shirley found her sleeping on the porch with their dog. Some people want to have a cat at home while others are eager to have a very big and dangerous cat, or even two. Saber, a 600-pound white Bengal male, and Janda, a 400-pound orange Bengal female, live in a cage at the back of Janice Haley's house. About 20 years ago, Janice left her office job and decided to work outdoors. She took a tiger training course, and a bit later, she took home her first wild cat. Then Janda and Cyber appeared in Janice's life. The tigers think that Janice is their mother. They cuddle with her, licking her nose, and are always waiting for her to come. What did I do, Pie? Mommy Swingy and Pie Pie. Cyber, the junior, can't even get to sleep without suckling on Janice's finger. What can be better for little kids than playing tag all day long? This thought flashed in the heads of Kim and Heinz Showman when they decided to find the best play buddies for their children. And they brought two cheetah cubs to their daughter and son, Kayla and Milan. The children are growing up with Waku and Skyla, the two fastest animals in the world. They play together, share their toys, and have a very tender bond. Their parents are also very close to the cats. They have been taking care of them since the cubs were abandoned by their mother. In nature, the death rate of cheetah cubs is very high. So Kim and Hein decided to make their own contribution and save these two beautiful animals. Polar bears are not pets at all. These beasts are considered to be the largest land carnivores in the world, and they don't become tame. But Mark Dumas managed to do that somehow. He and his wife, Dawn, are the owners of an 800-pound female polar bear called a gi. Mark is the only person in the world who can swim with this dangerous animal and stay alive. A gi is fond of Mark. She respects him and thinks of him as the best playmate. When she first appeared in the Dumas' house, she was eight weeks old. Agui doesn't let any other people be close to her. Besides, she is jealous with any woman but Don, as she is very possessive. She is always cuddling with Mark and licking him, so they are really close. Listen to that. Is that your daddy? Are you happy? Oh, happy girl. 
Doriana Gustasi and Rafael Petarini found a tiny piglet in the woods almost dying from hunger. They did their best to save the abandoned baby pig, but they didn't expect at all what the boar would turn into. The cutest piglet was named Pasqualina. As she was growing up, she was behaving like a real dog more and more, and now she does the same things. For example, when Raphael relaxes on the sofa, the two-year-old boar clambers all over him and nuzzles him with her snout. Pasqualina prefers to have dinner with her owners, and her favorite food is a strawberry yogurt. There are many other animals in the house of the Italian couple – cats, dogs, donkeys, and chickens. But Pasqualina is the most impressive, of course. A very nice and sociable kangaroo, Jimmy by name, lives in the caravan of the American couple, Diana and Larry Moyers. When they adopted Jimmy, he was about three months old. Jimmy is a gift for Diana from the zoo north of Wisconsin after she was diagnosed with cancer. Diana has been working with kangaroos in the zoo for about eight years until she got ill. The woman is sure that Jimmy is helping her to go through difficult times and cope with the disease. Jimmy lives, eats, and sleeps with his owners. Besides, he wears nappies and human clothes, and he is happy with his human life. The giraffes are African animals, but even they are in great danger. In 1979, Jacques Leslie Melville, a Kenyan citizen of British descent, and his American wife Betty decided to do their best to save a very rare species of this beautiful animal, the Rothschild giraffe. At that time, only 130 of them were left. The Leslie Melville family set them on an 18,000-acre soy ranch and soon founded the Africa Fund for Endangered Wildlife. A bit later, an educational center and a hotel appeared on the territory. So nowadays, 300 giraffes live there. A great amount of people come to the Giraffe Manor, as the hotel is called. Rothschild giraffes are very fond of people, and they don't miss a chance to communicate with guests. The breakfast with endangered Rothschild giraffes is a special order of Giraffe Manor. But nobody makes animals do that. Every morning, they just come to see what tasty things they can eat. Be careful! Stunk is in the house! Skunks have a very unpleasant reputation of being stinky creatures, and not so many people have a wish to make them pets. Deborah Cipriani has another point of view, obviously, as she keeps in her house 50 skunks. She loves them so much that several years ago, she opened a rescue center for domestic skunks in North Ridgeville, Ohio, and this is the only center like that in America. Skunks are free in her house. They can go anywhere they like. Deborah even lets them sleep in her bed, Every day she has to get up at 4.30 a.m. to clean and feed her stinky friends. She adores her companions and wants to show people that their reputation is not fair. So Deborah is an organizer of an annual skunk festival, where she tells people that skunks are very lovable and devoted animals. Should I get a skunk as a pet? But I think that my cats won't be happy. So this is the end of our loop. Let me know what animals impressed you most. See you next time!